Hello the people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys all about Safari's newest feature, extensions. That's right, with the new release of Safari 5, Safari has finally caught up with Firefox and Chrome with releasing the extensions feature. Um, Safari 5 has been out for like a month or whatever, and there's already a plethora of extensions. And I'm going to be going through um, six extensions that I think are the best extensions um, that I use um, on my website, which there will be a link in the down bar, I will have a post which will have an even longer list of Safari extensions, so maybe if these ones don't apply that much to you, uh, check out the link down below and you guys will be able to view even more Safari extensions. Um, also on my website, the best wallpapers you will ever, best wallpaper collection you will ever find on the internet. I got desktop wallpapers, iPhone wallpapers, uh, sooner matting iPad, and iPhone 4 wallpapers, but go check it out. I guarantee you guys will you guys will find at least five wallpapers from each category. Currently, there are only two categories that you will want to use on your computer and on your iPhone, so go check that out, and that is going to end my beginning video rant that has nothing to do with the video at all that I know you guys dislike, but I do it anyway. So moving on with the video, I'm going to open up Safari. And the first extension I'm going to be talking about is called Shortly. And all that does is kind of just, it just auto shorts URLs. So it sits right here next to the uh, URL bar. So if I were to click it right now, I would get a little shortened link um, that is for apple.com slash start page. So I could just copy and paste that wherever I needed to. So it does come in handy. Um, this extension also comes with support for... Uh, shorteners from YouTube and Flickr, because YouTube and Flickr have their own um, shorteners. Uh, so if I went to a YouTube video and then I clicked uh, the little shortly button, it would uh, give me a shorter link with uh, YouTube's um, with YouTube's uh, shortener. Um, so that is shortly pretty simple. Um, the next one I'm going to be talking about is called Translate, and it's just a one-click translate page. Um, so if I were to search Spanish website and click on this one. Let's say I didn't know what this page said. I could click translate and it will open up the page in Google Translate, all translated into English. And I, of course, I could change uh, the language if I wanted to. Uh, so that is translate. Pretty simple, pretty easy. The next one is called Cloud Preview. And for those of you that don't know what cloud is, cloud is kind of. Um, Cloud is a cloud-style app where you can um, post files and things like that. Um, but Cloud Preview, what it does is it gives you a preview of the different media types. So if I pasted um, a cloud, you know, link or whatever, um, instead of just having the normal, you know, name of the file and then the download button, it gives me a little preview. So now if I wanted to, I could preview the video or image or zip file or whatever it is before I wanted to download it. I happen to use Cloud. Um, I will have a link to Cloud because it's actually a really useful app in case you guys want to try it out. Um, but yeah, Cloud Preview definitely comes in handy. Um, the next one I'm going to be talking about is called Invisible Status Bar. Chrome has an, what's called an Invisible Status Bar. And it's just a status bar that uh, sits at the bottom of... Um, the browser window, so I'm going to hover over a link and just look at the bottom of the browser window. You will see that it has a little link up here and it kind of tells me where I'm going. And if I were to click on one of these, it would give me my progress and, you know, have a little circle thing and let me know how much it's loaded. And it just kind of comes in handy, especially with dealing with the internet because people like to post Rickroll links and things like that. So you could just kind of hover over the link or whatever and it will tell you what the real link is before you actually go to it. Um, so it does come in handy. I do like having that invisible status bar. Um, pretty useful. Uh, the next one, the number five extension, is called um, View Background Image. And this just comes in handy that sometimes you go to a website or whatever and they have a really cool background image and you're like, oh, I'd like to use this or something like that, or ooh, I'd like to modify this a little bit, or whatever it may be. Now you have a quick and easy way to access that background image. So if I go to twitter.com slash Fisher12, which is my Twitter. Feel free to follow me. Um, I'm going to let the page load, and of course, actually, that didn't take too long to load. So what I would all, all, all I would have to do is right-click, click, 
click view background image and boom, it opens up a new tab. I don't know why I did that. It opens up a new tab with um, the background image. So that does come in handy. Um, the sixth one, final one, probably the most useful one, probably the most creative one out of all these is called type to navigate. So if I, I'm going to go back to YouTube actually, YouTube. If I start typing the like beginning of any link on this page, like if you look at the first video under Spotlight YouTube Mobile, it says introducing the new YouTube Mobile. If I start typing that title, it will highlight it, and if I press enter, it will automatically go to it. So if I started typing introducing, bam, and I just press enter, it would start to load that video. So that is type to navigate. That's actually um, all six of the extensions that I wanted to show you. That actually, you know, was a lot quicker than I expected. Um, but yeah, that's the video, guys. Remember, check out the description. Link to the most amazing wallpaper collection, in my opinion. Uh, link to even more Safari extensions. Link to Twitter. All that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week, and take care.